Hey guys, today is the day. Yes, today is our open house slash meet and greet. We're gonna kind of explain to you how ours might be a little bit different than yours. We're gonna give you a play-by-play -play of what we have in our rooms, what we have planned for our parents. It's a super exciting day because we get to meet our kids. I know, we've been doing a lot of work leading up to this. We're both on leadership, so it was kind of fun to invest in every single classroom in first and kindergarten. And now the day that we finally get to meet them, we're so excited. You're gonna see how we do things a little bit differently um, depending on our grade level, but we're just excited to share and we want to know how you guys have open house so if yours is a lot different please let us know down below we're so curious to know how your open house goes yes so you know this is our meet and greet slash open house at our previous school we had two separate days but at our school here the same day we meet the parents is our open house in our classroom and then we have since we are very consistent uh, across grade levels we have like a parent night for first grade and a parent night for kindergarten where we talk about grade level procedures but this is our opportunity to have our own private event with parents it's only an hour long we're excited to show all the things that we're going to squish into that hour all right so the first thing we're going to share with you guys is basically the first look that a parent or family would have walking into our rooms we're going to drop both clips next of stephanie's room and my room so you guys can kind of see the setup and how we have our rooms um, pretty much made up for the day and just remember keep in mind our rooms are not going to be fully explained. We would love to go further in detail um, on a classroom tour video where we, again, explain the systems of our room. We explain some things a little bit better. We give you a better description. So just sit tight because we're going to have that video coming for you as well. If you have questions, you can leave them below, but just know that video is coming as well. So without further ado, check out our rooms. showing you is how we organize the materials for our open house slash meet and greet on our desks. This is a really easy way to be organized and also direct your parents and delegate the tasks that you need to get done in a short amount of time. Yeah, so we really only have an hour like we've mentioned. So putting things in handout forms and collecting as much as we can in that hour is our goal here. So I'm sure you saw in the last videos of our classroom, all the papers set out. We're gonna walk you through what each one is. Okay, so this is my desk here, the setup I have for first grade. It's actually very similar to what Stephanie and I have. We share a lot of just standard forms when it comes to the beginning of the year. So we have the kids' name tags. They're gonna find their desk. Um, these name tags are in our Teachers Pay Teacher Store if you're interested. In the top corner, I have a QR code to my Amazon wish list if parents are interested. And then the first thing I'm hoping that they pick up and read is the meet and greet checklist. Basically, it's only an hour, so we're hoping that parents will come in, sign in at the door, um, take a moment to fill out some forms, which is really gonna help get those forms in my hands. 
and then they're going to help me sort supplies. So in a moment, we'll show you guys the setup we each have in our rooms for the supplies. But basically, I ask that parents pack their pencil box full of the things I want, and they put all the extras um, in the bins that we're gonna show you. So this is very thorough. It kind of gives them an idea of what they're doing. And honestly, it's doing the legwork for us, and it cuts back a lot of the time we would be spending this weekend before our first day. The next form, is something different that I have in Stephanie's. It's just a first day of first grade. So we're giving the information that they need to know in a handout. Most of our students are returning, so they just need a little refresher. So this information will help. Next information page we have is just a simple student um, information form. We have our transportation form. Um, for Stephanie and I's class only, we have a media release form because of our Instagram and YouTube. So we give the parents an idea of what we're doing there and then a parent volunteer forum. We have a huge um, community that loves to help in the classroom, so we kind of need to get an idea of like what they're interested in doing. And I think Stephanie has forms look a little different on this, but the same idea. And then the last thing we have on our desk is a Ziploc bag because part of their um, uh, supply list is headphones, and I just want to get them in a bag with their name on it so that I can put them in the designated spot. And then we have a cute little flyer for an ice cream social that we're having at the PTA As we previously mentioned, having an organized desk right when the parents and families come in is really helpful because it just makes you utilize your time that much better. Um, the forms that we have laid out, this was from PTA, they're doing an ice cream social. Um, we have the same student um, transportation form for the first day just to ensure they get home safely. That's super important. It's priority one on the first day of school, especially for kinder. It's often their first time. Um, this survey from parents is really helpful for us in kindergarten because it's a lot of behavior um, information in addition to academic just to make sure that we can best accommodate them right away. Here we have our social media release form which um, helps inform parents that we do a little extra on the side and they can be involved if they would like. And then lastly, we have our volunteer forms. We try and utilize parents as best as possible considering we have a generous population who wants to give their times to our um, their time to our class and um, in kindergarten it can be super helpful because they can just help us crowd control and pull groups and it's just makes our um, instruction time go a lot farther. We both um, love to do an Amazon wish list just because it's smart to always have it going in case somebody is feeling a little extra generous. It helps our classroom constantly have um, the supplies that they need to have full instruction. Here in kindergarten we go ahead and give out our handbook or our class flip book at our meet and greet because a lot of parents are first timers um, with their students. So this has crucial information that they need to um, become familiar with day one. Here it tells a little bit about me. It says contact information, classroom expectations, as well as our school expectations, our schedules and reminders, little things that they should know day one, as well as our homework policy going into the first week with ways that they can um, supplement the homework as well. And then here in our district, there's some serious legislation about volunteers and being badged and background checked. So all of that they need to know coming to school because oftentimes it'll be the first time they've heard it. In addition, our school is a class dojo school, so we send home the code for their student. That is super helpful and that helps us communicate with them starting right away. So next what we're going to show you is how we have our family sort our supplies. We've been doing this for the last several years and it always takes a huge load of work off of our plate that, for, that weekend going into the school year because we don't have to spend a ridiculous amount of hours sorting them for our kids. And like L'Oreal said, she even has them put them their stuff away. So we're gonna show you what that looks like. Yeah, and for Stephanie and I, we kind of do the same thing. They have a set amount of supplies in their desk but the kids bring supplies for the entire year. So we're asking for maybe three or four boxes of crayons. Of course we don't want them in their desk. We know what's gonna happen there. We hold on to the extras in a community supply section of our room. So that's why we're collecting the excess. In my room, I have these Ikea bins that you guys have seen in the last videos. I just simply put a really plain label, some washi tape, and I have them going all the way across with those excess supplies. There are gonna be some that are gonna fill up faster than others, like tissues is gonna be a mountain on this table. And then um, over here, I know that colored paper and cardstock is just gonna be a huge stack. So I just have a label there. I'll probably drop one ream just to give them an idea that that's where it's going. And basically, um, the overflow will happen and I kind of just tell the parents to set it on the floor in front of it if it needs. So this is just a setup I have for this first meet and greet day where they're bringing some of um, my classroom. And so it's not in the way of their desks. It's not super congested. 
So they um, will come back here, sort their supplies after they've filled out their forms or before, depending on how they decide to um, distribute their time. But just like L'Oreal, we have bins with labels, same kind of labels just for our supply list. The bigger things obviously have bigger bins at the bottom. A lot of times I just take those bins right away and store them in our storage room because there's so many extras to start the year off with. Um, but yeah, so they'll come and drop them here. It's super easy and uh, it makes the beginning of the year so much more effortless for us because our stuff is already uh, sorted. The next thing we're gonna kind of show you guys what we have are little student gifts. Now we, these are come out of pockets. It's just out of the kindness of our hearts. We have a very giving community. So anytime we can find a way to give back to the kids or families or make them feel special, we don't mind doing that. So these are just some things we've put together that are actually really affordable and super cute. It just helps them leave your room and have a little something extra to remember you by, especially since we both have themed classrooms, we like to tie it into our theme. So it's like, almost like an inside joke in a way that we're like, take this, think of us, get ready for the first day. All right, so like we said, we like to just have a little gift for the kids just to make them feel like welcome, that they were well thought of, and um, just something that we're excited to have them. Um, each grade level did something different kind of with their themes. Um, I chose to do, you're officially in first grade. This was a Teachers Free Teachers free download. We'll put in the link below, and I got these fish lollipops from Amazon. We can also link those below. So super cute, super easy. In the past, I've done adorable ribbons and bows and all that, but just time got away from us, so just nice and easy, but just for the, a way for the kids to know we're thinking. As we mentioned, everything is set out on our desk, super organized. I go ahead and put it next to their name tags just because um, with our presentation, we're shorter on time. I don't have time to pass these out at the end. Um, these are for parents. It's just thanking them again for their commitment and involvement to our class. These are available in our store. We will link it down below. And then here is a little gift tag. Again, we have a classroom theme of Legos, which is super fun. And so it says Lego of summer and get ready for kinder. And then these are recycled crayons from last year and a really cheap mold from Amazon. And this is like a really cheap, cheap gift that I've done for a couple years now. So it basically pays for itself. And the kids love them and use them all year. So just gets them a little bit excited. All right, so what we're gonna be explaining next is kind of how our open house meet and greets are structured. Because like we said, we do it a little bit differently in kindergarten and first. Yes, yeah, so there's some major differences here. Um, what I'm gonna show you guys in a minute is like, we have a really open door policy where Stephanie has like a structured presentation. So I'm gonna kind of show you what it looks like in my room and then Stephanie's gonna explain everything that's going on in her room. Like I said, this is like an open door policy. So I'm probably gonna post up right here by my desk greeting families as they walk in. And just remember that the parents in my room are gonna be sorting supplies, they're gonna be mingling with friends. Most of my kids are returning to, I don't need a lot of the procedures and stuff and that handout kind of covers any questions they might have. I'll be posted up here talking to one family at a time. I always have notebook paper on a clipboard because things come up. You know, parents are gonna tell you about transportation, they're gonna tell you about allergies, they're gonna tell you so many things and you're just not gonna remember them all. So I stand here basically with my clipboard, I hear them out, I make notes that I need to. I make notes about students, maybe I'm noticing something that someone's really shy or I, I watch the kids and I see that they already have a friend and I just take notes because in an hour, so much is gonna happen, it's gonna be a whirlwind and I'm not gonna remember anything when I sit on the couch tonight just reflecting and these notes are a lifesaver. I'm not doing a formal presentation. I will just have this up on my board. Basically it just says welcome, this is informal, there's no presentation. And I really want to direct into that blue meet and greet form on their desk because that's going to tell them what to do. And I can't explain to each family what their directions are. So I'm hoping that they'll go, they'll check out that paper, and then at one at a time come up to introduce themselves to me so I can get to know them and meet the kids. So it's going to be a super special, fun day. And um, because we've done this in the past, this is the best system that works for us. And let us know if you have tips and tricks, it might work better. So another aspect of our meet and greet is the first grade team has put together this adorable photo wall. Um, this is in our Teachers Pay Teachers store. Um, Stephanie and I blew up the clip art into poster size and we just hung our banner. And this is just a fun place for the first graders to take a picture and get excited about the new school year. So as L'Oreal had mentioned, in kindergarten, because parents have never been to the school before, a lot of parents are first time parents of students, we feel it's crucial to have a, a, a slideshow. It is only gonna be about 15 minutes long. We have to do two sessions, one at four, one at 4.30 at our school. That way it's spread out and still gives us some time for meeting and greeting. 
um, but we feel there's some crucial things that have to be included. I have um, the PowerPoint pulled up, but I'll have it turned, my computer turned like this so I can easily um, scroll through it, but it just has important information about everyday procedures like our snack time, our arrival, our dismissal, things that they need to know day one for their student to have a happy, safe, and successful first day. That's really important for us. That is basically all that we prioritize on the first day besides procedures and having fun. All right, you guys. So we're super excited. We have about mm, 30 minutes until parents start showing up and we cannot wait. We're so excited. This is like probably one of my favorite moments. Um, it's a whirlwind and like we said before, we don't remember much, but like those first interactions you have, those kids, some are gonna stick with you and- Stick with them. Yeah, and it's just such a magical time and we're so excited. We're really proud of the work we did. Let us know if you guys have any other tips and tricks that you leave us in the comments or anything that you do that's special for kids. We wanna know. Absolutely. We're excited too because um, L'Oreal is getting a good handful of my kids. And so like, I can't wait for them to fall in love with her. They obviously know exactly who she is because she would pop in and like I talked about our friendship all the time, but that's like another thing that's special. I don't know anything about any of my students, maybe like two or three that I've heard of. So it's like brand new friends, but if you liked this video and you learned anything or you have any comments, make sure you leave them below. Make sure to give this video a giant thumbs up. Make sure your bell notifications are turned on and we, we hope, hope to see you guys soon. soon.